Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jade, aka Cheeky Sparkles, and today I have got something so exciting for you guys, or at least I think it is. I've been planning this video for quite a while because it was a big trend on YouTube like months ago. Anyways, I'm just doing it now, and I thought I would do it because like the videos that were done were just done mainstream, and I'm like, I don't have neutrals and all that, so I'm like, why don't I do I tried copying kawaii YouTubers Instagram, so that's what we're doing today. Now, looking at how long it's gonna be, it might be a two-parter, so if you want part two, leave it in the comments below. If not, please enjoy part one. We're gonna start off with this photo here. Now, this is a three-section photo where she was holding a black camera, and I'm pretty sure she's taking a picture in a mirror. These poses are extremely uncomfortable. How she did these and made it look cute, I don't know, because posing it was not fun. All right, so this is the first look. Um, she's holding a black camera. We're filming with my black camera, and we need to see the pictures. So we found my uh, camera card case, so we're gonna use that, and maybe I'll Photoshop a camera in there later. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna use this, so we're gonna try and, you know, get in pose one, so looks uncomfortable, but... So it's just kind okay, of like pigeon-toed. So pigeon this is off the sleeve, this is here. Alright. <laughs> take the photo. Alright, so I don't think the end result is that bad. I think I got the poses pretty good, however, her photo was a lot more vibrant, but if I turned up the saturation anymore... <sighs> We were gonna be an orange bean as it is. I'm kind of orange already. But you know, I think we got the poses pretty well accurate to the original. What do you guys think? I think we did pretty good. Moving on to number two. This is a girl who, if you haven't seen her giant trend that's been going around on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, she is the one and only dancing Hermione, and that is Kelsey Ellison. I think I'm pronouncing that right. She is so sweet, and I love her to pieces, and I came across this photo, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to emulate that. Let's do it. Now, I could not, for the life of me, find a shirt that looked like that, and then when I tapped on it, it was from Primark, and I'm like, we don't have Primark here. So, I found a shirt that I thought was similar, it was tie-dye, and then Vic let me borrow her jeans, and we clamped them in the back to get the ripped jeans effect. So here's the attempt on taking this photo. Are we ready for look two? I'm pretty sure these glasses didn't dry before I put them on my face, but whatever, <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna take this picture now. So we got like this, kind of. All right, and tilt your head a little bit more. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. So the end result, eh. You could definitely tell there was a little bit of photoshopping in there. Uh, Vic's jeans are extremely dark, so I had to lighten them. And then I had to cut out the background because I didn't want my light switch in there. And then I just put in a blue background and all that. The angle that this photo was taken from compared to hers was not good. So I don't know where Vic thought the angle was, but it was not there. But anyways, I think we did pretty good. I had to paint those sunglasses. I thought they were black, but they have white rims. So I ended up painting them right before we took this photo. But I think, I think we did pretty good. I think so. Yeah. The next one is from Ellie Medhurst. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. She is a doll. Her pink hair is just like, so cute. Her Instagram is so cute. Like, I will leave all their Instagrams. And it is just this cute, like, selfie-esque kind of thing, which is also another hard pose to get in. And I'm pretty sure she took it like this, but I ended up taking it like this. So I had to, like, cut the photo and put in a back and... <sighs> it was a big mess. <laughs> but anyways, this photo is super adorable. Let's try and emulate it. I think kind of like that. Let's see. Hmm. Mm. Vic, help! <sighs> okay, so I think we did decent on this one. Again, her photo was a little more on the punch of color side and mine's more on the pastel side, but the overall pose, I think we got it pretty good. I mean, like, I think I think we did pretty good here. Let me know. 
All right, the next one I'm moving on to is Synth Pop Circus. I love this girl so much. She is so sweet. She is currently taking a break that I'm aware of from the internet because, you know, the internet can be mean. And like, I've gone through that. Lots of other people have gone through that. Just try not to let the hate comments get to you, but like, sometimes they do and it's hurtful. So like, I understand and I support her wholeheartedly, but I saw this photo and I thought it was so freaking cute that I'm like, I need to recreate it. Now I don't have that shirt or a mesh top, but I happen to have a tank top and a mesh shirt. So I was like, Psh, it's basically the same thing. Let's do it. So we did. And actually I really want that top. Oh, it's really cute. Okay, this is in the next look, but you don't get to see my bottom half because I don't have pants on. <laughs> um, but I think it's kind of cute, right Vic? Yeah. Very yeah. cute. No, you can't see my room. Don't look. You've already seen that side. No! Basically. Now, here's the thing. My room is not white, and her background is very white, and I'm assuming that's in her bedroom. So I just kind of awkwardly painted around my limbs and my fingers. That's why they look kind of choppy. To uh, get the whiter room effect, you can still see the pink through. And then, yeah, my closet's a mess. But, like, we're just looking at the cute, like, bunny girl pose, okay? Just ignore the rest of my room. It's fine, but I think we did pretty good. I'm actually really, really happy with how this turned out. The last one for this video is Lovely Lore. Now, I have been following Lovely Lore for <sighs> at least a few years. Like, she's been such an inspiration regarding Lilia fashion and just lots of cool stuff in general. And she's such a sweetie. This photo, I was like, wait a minute. I own everything in this photo. I have a black wig, I have that headband, I have those sunglasses, I have that shirt. We own some sort of red lipstick. We're recreating this photo, let's go. And then when I went to go recreate it, I couldn't find my headband and I it was really sad. The, this is the hashtag look for this photo. It was very old, but I think we got it. Also, I couldn't find my headband, so I improvised. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, so we're gonna go with it. Yay! Let's go! Now, I think I did really good with this one because I got a black wig out, I got the sunnies, I've got the lips, I've I got a made-to-do headband. It's literally just a bow in a pink skinny headband. But you know what? It's fine. But I think I did pretty freaking good. Like, because we have the same shirt, even though the colors are like slightly different on that shirt. Like her cuffs are red and mine are green, but I'm like, that's factories, whatever. It's the same shirt. It was from Forever 21. But I think I did pretty good. Like opening my camera roll when I was going through the pictures to put them up, um, I was like, oh wait, which one's actually Lore? But then I'm like, oh no, my face is a definitely different shape. But anyways, I think I did really good on this one. I'm very proud of this one. So let me let me know what you guys think. Cause I think I think I did pretty freaking good in my opinion for um just doing it around my house. Alright guys, that is it for part one of this video. If you're wanting to see part two, I'm having people included like our Queen Pixie Lux, Kelly Eden, and Peach Milky in part two. So if that's something you want to see, please leave that in the comments below so I can get my creative juices flowing on that and make sure to head over to my Twitter and my Instagram to see more outside Cheeky Sparkles content. Give this video a like and subscribe if you liked it and you want to see more of my goofy face and I'll see you next time. Bye!